Okay. Hi, Libra. Welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios. And they can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to the channel by spirit. So please note this is not tarot. These are intuitive channeled messages. Take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. Sorry that it's a bit bouncy. I'm just in a smaller, smaller area today and the um, table bounces. And so that means my tripod bounces with the table. So maybe put your headphones in if you're watching this reading. <laughs> if you don't want to get motion sickness, sorry. But um, just the way that I have to have the tripod causes it to unfortunately bounce. So it is what it is. I do apologize. But yeah, this is a warning if you don't want to get sick from the motion. Um, put your headphones on and listen to this remotely. Okay, so let's find out what energy is coming through the Libra message today. We have a unicorn. So this came through in the Scorpio reading. So I feel like you may be dealing with a unicorn, Libra. This is a mystical creature from another dimension who's very gifted, very intuitive. So we've got a unicorn here. So it's a really high value person that's very rare. So you are coming up with the energy of a unicorn or you're dealing with a unicorn if you're a cross watcher okay let's start the channeling and find out you know why this person is such a unicorn and how this unicorn is feeling yeah okay we've got courage All right, so I feel like you're a unicorn Libra or you're dealing with a unicorn um, because you are, you know, very mystical. I feel like you've got a lot of um, spiritual gifts here. So I feel like you're very intuitive, very gifted, and you're a mystical creature from another dimension. So I feel like you're of this world, but not of this world. So I feel like you've come to earth to assist and support in some kind of evolution process of humanity. So I feel like you're a, a unicorn because you're very unique, you're very gifted, and you're very rare. So I feel like you have these unique abilities, unique gifts, your soul is pure, you're very innocent. And I feel like the reason why you're so rare is because we have the singer of courage. I feel like you're very brave as well. And I feel like you, you aren't afraid to just be yourself. You're very different from the rest of society and it's really brave to just embrace your unique gifts abilities and be fearless i feel like you're very very courageous you're very bold and i feel like you embrace your your uniqueness in a, a way that's very powerful and we have the singer of transfiguration i feel like you have risen like a phoenix um to overcome a lot of um adversity so i feel like you know you don't fit in with society you're very unique you're very rare you're very different and you're very pure you're very innocent you're very sweet but you're also um, very courageous and strong so i feel like spirit is coming through to tell you how rare you are how much of a blessing you are in people's lives how gifted you are how unique you are how pure you are and how special you truly are so you're dealing with a very special person who's very gifted who's one in a trillion is what i just heard this person is one in a trillion one in a billion type of energy and you need to know that spirit wants you to know how special you are how gifted you are how mystical you are how rare you are and how strong and courageous you are you have so much courage to just be yourself in a world full of haters so i feel like you know you are so mystical and rare and unique and it takes a lot of bravery and courage to just stand in your knowing stand in your power and i feel like you've you've overcome a lot of adversity i feel like you are rising like a phoenix and just being your unique self and i feel like you know 
People throw shade at anything that shines. So I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of shade being thrown at you. And this is your energy overcoming that. We've got the stinger of transfiguration. I feel like you're the one in alignment because I just was really drawn to the 11. And 11 is all about alignment and unity. So I feel like you're the one, the rare one who's in alignment with the universe, with spirit, with divine guidance. And it's taken you a lot of courage to stand strong in your knowing. So I feel like you've got these mystical gifts and abilities and I feel like you're very intuitive and you're going against the grain and the other other world that you're from, you know, you're you're in alignment with that. So I feel like, you know, if you're like a star seed and you come from the Pleiades or you come from um, Arcturian or you come from Orion or all these other type of soul origin groups you are here on earth to share your knowledge through your mystical abilities and gifts and it takes a lot of courage you know in a world of adversity where you're of this world but not of this world and you see the way that humanity is operating in the world you see how much they need to evolve you see how much they are out of alignment and it takes a lot of courage to stand strong in your knowing so I feel like with the Stinger of Transfiguration, there's been a lot of shade thrown at you because you listen to your intuition and you follow your spiritual gifts. You follow your own path. You blaze your own trail and you've been very courageous just being you and not following the crowd, going against the grain, listening to your intuition. And a spirit is coming through to say, you're a rare unicorn. Nobody else has the courage you have to do this, but you are so gifted. You know what is right and what is wrong. You listen to your intuition and you've risen like a phoenix because there's been a lot of haters who have disagreed with your path, disagreed with your intuition. And throughout all of this journey, you have been true to yourself. So that is your side there, Libra. I feel like this is the divine feminine energy. Enter the divine masculine energy or the masculine energy that's connected to this unicorn. So let's see who the uni unicorn is connected to. But that's a beautiful message that maybe you needed to hear, Libra. Like you have been through a lot, you know, and it took a lot of bravery, strength and courage to stand in your truth and your knowing despite the adversity that you faced, despite all of that. So let's find out what the masculine energy is that you're connected to. I'm in this like real quiet pod right now that's like completely see-through and everyone can stare at me. So it's kind of funny um, in the middle of a public place, but I don't care anymore. People can watch me. All right. I used to hide my gifts. And I would be too shy to do what I'm doing right now, but I got told to embrace them. Okay, so Libra, we have a masculine energy who's coming up as the spirit animal of the moth because I feel like this masculine energy is very attracted to your light. He's very attracted to you. So I feel like, you know, you have this beautiful light that you radiate and it's very pure, very innocent, very white. And this is your energy. And I feel like he's a moth to your flame. So he's coming up with the moth's energy. We have the alchemical symbol for air because it's a masculine who's just, who's really drawn to you. He, um, yeah, you are guiding. I think you're also the guiding light for this masculine. So see the darkness here. You are his guiding light. And I'm hearing that song, Flashlight. Um, it's from that movie. What's that movie? Flashlight. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a, it's like, you're my flashlight. So you're guiding this divine masculine energy out of the darkness through your courage, through your transformation, through your strength, through your mystical abilities. You're his guiding light, his flashlight. And I feel, yeah, he's very drawn to your light. He's, he's following the guidance. He's listening to the guidance because this divine masculine has been in darkness and he's, um, he's, he's watching your transformation. He's watching you rise like a phoenix and he's trusting you. I feel like it's a divine muscle that trusts you. And we'll get a little bit more here. Okay. Is that? Yeah, it's this one. I think it's this one. Okay. So I feel like you're inspiring a divine masculine to... Um, 
with Nalise the Alchemist energy, go through a powerful inner transformation. So I feel like your light is shining so bright and I feel like your journey is inspiring this divine masculine to go through his own inner transformation and start to listen to his intuition. We have a very gifted divine masculine energy who is watching you. And I feel like with Nalise the Alchemist, He's going through an inner transformation and with the singer of intuition, he's starting to listen to his intuition. He's starting to receive channeled messages. He's starting to get guidance from a higher power and he's starting to break out of his societal programming and conditioning. So I feel like it's been very dark where this divine masculine has been and your, your journey, your guidance, um, this divine masculine has been very drawn to you. He's been drawn to your light. And it's inspired him with Nelise the Alchemist to go through an inner transformation. So he's sprinkling his magic. Alchemy is all about manifestations, alchemizing and transforming a situation. So it's a divine masculine whose consciousness is shifting and it's alchemizing things in his life. And he's starting to become more spiritual and he's starting to listen to his intuition with a singer of intuition. It's a divine masculine. It's very intuitive. He's very gifted. He's very talented. He's very unique. He's very special. And your journey and transformation has inspired this divine masculine to transform change and start following his intuition. Start listening to his in his um internal guidance his gut feeling his gut instinct start channeling his own information from source from spirit and this is beautiful because we always should listen to our intuition sometimes i go out of myself to receive like confirmation but a lot of the times we're surrounded by darker energies that give us the wrong guidance guidance that try to confuse us off our path so the best option in life is to listen to your intuition and then ask spirit for confirmation that you're on the right path. I channel these messages, you know, because there's so much darkness on YouTube. There's so much confusion on YouTube and spirit has guided me down this path to help guide others on their journey. And I'm just a conduit for spirit to channel. Um, but you should always rely on your own instincts, your own intuition before listening to my readings and my guidance because, you know, not every message is meant for you. So I just feel like this divine masculine is inspired by this unicorn. He's, um, he's, he's very drawn to her light. He sees her purity, her innocence and her journey and her courage has inspired him to go through a powerful inner transformation and start listening to divine guidance and listening to his intuition. So this is a seven. So this is all about spiritual lessons. So we have a divine masculine whose crown chakra is opening and he's starting, his crown chakra and his third, third eye chakra activated and he's starting to um, leave the lower frequencies. So down here is the lower vibrational energy. I think this is representation of ascension. So, you know, see how dense the energy is down here and that's where this masculine has been residing. So when we ascend, we raise our vibration into the higher realms and that opens up our our gifts so when we're vibrating really 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 low in fear and anxiety and stress you know that is very dense energy and it's really hard for the um the spiritual guidance to reach us so when we're anxious and in fear we we block our intuition and so this masculine is ascending to the higher dimensions and it's opening him up to receive more messages and guidance from spirit so you know, when you ascend and you're in the higher frequencies, you can receive this channeling a lot easier and it's easier to translate. So it's a masculine who's ascending, going through a spiritual awakening. He's been inspired by a unicorn who's been very courageous and brave on their journey. And they've risen like a phoenix to overcome all the interference and the, and the spiritual attacks on their light. And a masculine is watching their journey and he's very drawn to this unicorn's light and it's helping him ascend on his path. So... That's the situation. If you're resonating with this message, Libra, the link is below in the description box to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. It keeps me on YouTube full time. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, Libra. All that information is in the description box below.